Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we're gonna build a reaction game with a micro bit, uh, four croc clips, uh, a bit of card uh, foil, and then a cardboard sheet. Okay, cool. So, nice uh, side. so cool. So, how do we get started? Uh, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put my micro bit. So, I'm gonna trace it. It looks like the micro bit's positioned at the at the top of the game. At the front yeah, it's of the game. start of a game, and I have glued uh, the battery pack with with a bit of tape at the back. So oh, nice! Just to, yeah, secure the position. It will sit there. Uh, Great. I'm gonna mark uh, pin zero one two and ground. So zero one two ground. Because I'm gonna use that. Um, yeah. So for my game, I'm gonna have a section here. Uh, I'm gonna use P0. Oh, great. So mark that. Uh, and that's gonna and be my- And P0 is like one of the pins on the micro bit? Right, so if you can zoom in, you'll see it's called zero. So that's pin zero. Great. That's the first hole. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a crock clip from P0, and it's gonna go and connect to this area with foil. So actually, oh, I'm cool. gonna show you that. I'm gonna take some so, foil. So we're like creating a circuit with, with the- Yep. With the foil and the micro bit and the uh, alligator clip. We're gonna do a circuit and then we're gonna use a block called on pin press to uh, get an event when the user presses that area. So I I fold uh, the foil here and I could use some glue. I wanna use the glue in the demo. I'll just put it there. Uh, and I can just grab, it's very easy to just grab. The, the oh, side. so they have teeth. The you alligator have teeth. clips have teeth. Right, you open the teeth and just grab the side of the cardboard. Wow, amazing. And now I can go. Now the trick is here. I'm gonna instead of going in the front like you usually do. Okay. I'm gonna go in the back. Oh, and does the, that does that help with the connection? It helps keeping the little micro bit here nice oh, and that. straight, kind of on its own. Yeah. And if I it's well positioned. I'm gonna need ground, so I'm gonna do ground as well. So how come ground is a black cable? Uh, it's the typical color we use for ground. Oh, cool. Um, although here we, we have green and red. Red is typical for the, the, the three volt yeah. here, but we'll use it for something else. Okay. We don't have enough colors. Okay, so it's holding here. That's gonna be my start button. So I'm gonna mark it as start using my best uh, font art possible. And that's the button users are gonna press to start the reaction game. Great. Like I can. And it looks like this is gonna be a people are actually gonna power the micro bit with their, how are, you, how are people gonna power the micro bit with, um, with their completing the circuit with their with right. the pin press? Let me finish my art here and we're gonna talk about that. Okay. Uh, so a game is called Reaction. So how, how would a human create a complete a circuit between right. the ground and the... So we're gonna do a section for ground and that's gonna be in between the players. Okay. So I'm gonna mark that, that's gonna be my Ground section. I need it to oh, be nice. pretty big because. Uh, and ground and ground is right in the middle of the the game board. Yeah, ground is in the middle of the game board because the two players are going to put their hands on it. Uh, so we need we use we use a resistive touch. So we need a circuit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover ground with foil and then do the same trick here. Going to fold it. Uh huh. Uh, and I'm gonna grab my crooked dollar clip. Here we go. Uh, and now instead of going on top, it's gonna not look so good. I'm gonna go under, under the, the table. Oh, cool. And, and that way we can still see your pretty artwork for reactions. Right, so you don't have all the cables laying around, it's pretty easy. Um, and again, use a bit of tape or, or glue to get this nice and not stuck on the cardboard. And that's nice because ground is now connected from the aluminum foil to the ground pin on the micro bit, right? Right, so the cable goes here, do 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 here, micro bit, and then if I press here, I'm the circuit, goes through my body here, and then the micro bit is able to measure that. And then if I click, then the event on pin press will trigger. So that's how we're gonna do our super cool game here. I'm gonna finish it by giving the, so we're using P0 already, I'm gonna do P1. Okay, P1 here. And that helps me figure out how I'm gonna wire my uh, my circuit here. So, yeah. so we're gonna need two additional alligator clips and more foil, right? More foil. 
So I'm gonna, gonna figure out how to attach my foil here. And I notice that the foil's not touch, none of the foil touches each other. So yeah. why, why is that happening? Well, if you if the foil touches each other, you have a short. Um, so the current's gonna go through and it's gonna mess up your, basically you're gonna, it's gonna mess up the code because events will start triggering randomly. So you wanna make sure it's got a bit of space between them. So that's a good point. Make sure they don't overlap. Great. Uh, again, I'm going through the back, under the board, and here, under here. And this has a cool side effect of keeping the micro bits straight. Of course, you can build a whole little house for your micro bit in cardboard, make it look even cooler. But, I love it. Uh, we can keep this video short. I'm gonna skip that step. I'm using the rest of my foil wrapping it up around uh, the corner here. And I got one last cable we can use. There we go. So it looks like we have several cables and all of the cables are going to a separate pin on the micro bit, right? Right, so we have four, uh, we have, well, there are five ring pins on the micro bit, but I'm using four, P, P12, P012, and then ground, okay? Okay. Looks great. Like in that, uh, I'm gonna finish the artwork to make it look awesome. Now, we've done the coding and we've uploaded the code into the micro bit. We'll find that on the next page on the code page. Uh, so that's uh, that's our player too. But I guess I don't have to. I don't have to mark it. The game is ready to be played. Uh, no, looks good. You have to press here. So. If I plug in the micro bit, I'll show how I play with one player. Okay. And then I have another player that's ready to play. So I press here, the countdown starts, then you have to wait. And when the dot appears, you have to press as fast as possible. And it tells you if it, the lines on the left tells you who win, and also how many milliseconds it took you to react. So if I start again, and now I'm waiting, and it's gonna start rent. Ah. Seven. Um, 777. So I need a player, one player here. So we go. Both players put the hand in the middle, this hand. And we're gonna play. So when when you see the dots, press that part with with the other end. Right. So it's important that you're gonna use this hand to press this this side, and then I'm gonna use this hand to press this side. Okay? What happens if you press the if you press your hand on the on the gamepad before the the LED comes up? All right. So how do you, how do you play against cheaters? If I'm if I'm like this, then I get a little X and I've lost. Oh no. So okay. So let's try again. Oh man, this player is fast. Let's try again. Oh man, this player is fast. All right, that's it. That's the reaction game. You'll see in the next page, the code page, how to create the code that's running in the micro bit. Thank you so much.